Diddy, who is reportedly looking to ditch the limelight of Hollywood, has another challenge, a new sex trafficking lawsuit. The lawsuit spells double the trouble for the star, who had reportedly listed his massive Holmby Hills mansion and even distanced himself from his company, amidst mounting sexual assault allegations. This new lawsuit adds another layer of complexity to Diddy's life. Amidst explosive allegations, Audrey English, known by her stage name O Munique, has filed a lawsuit against Diddy, his company Bad Boy, and others. She is claiming that she was coerced into sex trafficking at Diddy's infamous parties. Initially, Audrey admitted that she did not engage in sex with party guests but was gradually groomed into the role of a sex worker over time. It all allegedly began in 2004 when she met Diddy during a Sean John modeling audition. According to Audrey, Diddy purportedly pressured her into engaging in sexual acts at his events, threatening to ruin her career if she refused. Documents obtained by TMZ detail disturbing incidents, including claims of grooming and forced intercourse with Jacob Arabov, known as Jacob the Jeweler. Audrey noted that she was rewarded with an additional $1,000 for compliance. The former adult film star also implicates Tamiko Thomas, likening her role to Ghislaine Maxwell in Jeffrey Epstein's scandal as facilitating Diddy's alleged sex trafficking operation lawsuit, filed by attorneys Ariel Mitchell Kidd, ESQ, and Stephen Metcalf. ESQ seeks unspecified damages for the emotional and psychological distress Audrea has endured. In the lawsuit, Audrea detailed additional harrowing encounters where she claimed her boyfriend and another model were allegedly pressured to perform sexual acts on Diddy to secure modeling jobs. According to the plaintiff, when her boyfriend refused, another associate reportedly offered him a job under the condition that Audrea work as a go-go dancer at one of Diddy's lavish parties in the hall. Tan Sadrio asserts that they complied. Working at Diddy's white party over Labor Day weekend in 2004, she claims to have subsequently attended other events where she was encouraged to drink alcohol laced with drugs like ecstasy and engage flirtatiously with guests. The lawsuit includes photographic evidence of her presence at these events. Moreover, Audrey claims Diddy made promises to advance her career, including opportunities in the music industry. However, she asserted that these offers were accompanied by threats and coercive tactics to ensure compliance. Despite relocating to California in 2009, Audrey believes that Diddy retaliated by blackballing her and her boyfriend from the entertainment industry as punishment.